Members, this is a bittersweet moment for me. I stand before you and I wish you farewell. The past two years have been one of the greatest privileges I've ever experienced in my entire life. I won't lie to you, I wrote these remarks only this morning. <laughs> I honestly thought I'd be with you for another two years, so I didn't plan to give this speech for a while. Although there are many times in our lives when we can't control our circumstances, we can control how we react to them. So instead of feeling sorry for myself, I'll react by counting my blessings. And there are certainly too many to count. If you've ever experienced the loss of something or someone that you love, you know that it's never easy to wake up the next morning and remember what just happened the day before. I was honestly dreading going to bed on Tuesday night after I got the results back and realized I'd come up short. I was dreading going to bed that night because I didn't want to wake up and remember that the next morning. But by the grace of God, when I woke up on Wednesday morning, I woke up to the sound of babies laughing. And in that moment, I remembered that the most important things in my life were just in the room next to me. While I might not be a state representative anymore, I already have the best jobs that I'm ever going to have as a husband and a father. I'm blessed to have the most amazing, talented, and godly and beautiful wife that a man could ever ask in Alice Rowe. She loves me and our sons, Ethan and Callum, more than I deserve. I've got the best parents a guy could ask for. My dad, Mark, has more integrity than any man I'll ever meet. And my mom, Mary Beth, is an inspiration to me every single day. My legislative staff blew me away. They blew me away with their work ethics, their talents, and their service to our community. Matt Zahn, my chief of staff, Matt, thank you for being so trustworthy and capable. I don't think I've ever trusted a professional colleague quite as much as I trusted you, Matt. Thank you for never once betraying that trust, and I consider you a dear friend. Jesse Stopker and Nita Mattiola, you showed the love of Christ to each and every person who walked into our office. Thank you for how you treated every constituent with love and respect. Dixie, thank you for keeping me on track while I was here in the Capitol. I was so blessed to work with you over the past two years, and you never missed a thing. You are an extremely talented woman. I'm grateful for my amazing campaign team who worked so hard to get me here and to keep me here. Marion McGrath was my campaign manager for the past two elections, and to this day, she's still the only person who's ever literally taken the witness stand for me. Marion, you are more appreciated by me and my family than you will ever know. Thank you for your selfless service to me, our party, and our commonwealth. Terry Clark, not only are you an excellent county register of wills, but I can't thank you enough for being my events chair over the past three years. You're a dear friend of mine, and I'm so grateful for you. Gwen Alexander, thank you for getting me plugged into Chester County politics at an early age. I'm sorry I wasn't in here longer, but your friendship over the past 10 years is what brought me to this place in the first place. Rob Brooks and Jeff Coleman, thank you for how, how hard you worked, and thank you for your creativity. You kept my campaigns classy, and I'm very grateful for that. I'd like to thank our leadership team here in the House, Speaker Terzai, Leader Reed, Whip Brian Cutler, Caucus Chair Marcy Topol, Caucus Secretary Donna Oberlander, Caucus Administrator Kurt Mosser, and Appropriations Chairman Stan Saylor. I want to thank each of you for how you had my back every single time. And to my friends who also propelled me and my campaign from the outside, I'm grateful for your friendship too. Brian Rangert, Sheila Flickinger, Chad Weaver, and the rest of the gang, gang at HRCC, thank you for your tremendous work for our party. Val DiGiorgio, thank you for helping me get here back in 2016 and for having my back. My dear friends Michael Gear and Randy Wenger and Tom Shaheen over at the Pennsylvania Family Institute, thank you for your support and for fighting the good fight here in Harrisburg. And my dear friend Matt Briette from Commonwealth Partners, Thank you for being a friend and a mentor to me. I appreciate the accountability you gave me, not just professionally, but also on a personal level too. 
I'm a truly blessed man and I have no regrets. I look back on the past two years and I marvel at the things we accomplished. We disarmed domestic abusers and invested more in our schools than at any other time in Pennsylvania's history. We reformed the state pension system and started making promises that we could actually keep. We passed bills to protect the smallest and most vulnerable among us because every human being deserves to have human rights. We protected preserved land from eminent domain and we passed state budgets without raising taxes. I'm proud of that. I could go on and on, but instead let me close with this. Members, I wish you well as you continue to serve the people of Pennsylvania. Consider these words from the great, late Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. who said the following, and I quote, when you discover what your life will be, set out to do it as if God Almighty called you at this particular moment in history to do it. Don't just set out to do a good job. Set out to do such a good job that the living, the dead, or the unborn couldn't do it any better. If it falls your lot to be a street sweeper, sweep streets like Michelangelo painted pictures. Sweep streets like Beethoven composed music. Sweep streets like Langton Price sings before the Metropolitan Opera. Sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will have to pause and say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well, end quote. Well, members, I too have a challenge for you. Now that you've discovered or rediscovered your lot as a state legislator, I challenge you with this. Serve your constituents in need like Mother Teresa served the poor. Strive onward toward a unified citizenry, immense our burdened people, and proclaim freedom like Abraham Lincoln did. Work together to form a more perfect union like our founding fathers and founding mothers did. Write legislation with attention to detail like Edwin Austin Abbey painted the murals above you. Serve with the humility of one who toils in the fields, fields whose ceilings are not painted in gold like these ceilings here, but instead fields with ceilings that shimmer with the glow of countless stars above. And then run this race with the urgency of Paul Revere. Do all this so well that the hosts of heaven and earth will have to pause and say, here lived a great Pennsylvania state legislator who did his job well. May God continue to bless each of you, and may God continue to bless the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Thank you.